This is space daily news with Julia. European Space Agency is now one step closer to unveiling the mysteries of the dark universe. Following the coming together of two key parts of the Euclid spacecraft, the instrument carrying payload module of the support and service module. On March 24th, over a dozen engineers gathered at Euclid Industrial Prime Contractor Tele Salenia Space in Turin to carefully attach the two main parts of the Euclid spacecraft together. This task required such extreme precision that it took a whole day. Followed by two days of connecting electronic equipment and testing that Euclid's instruments still work. Provided by Airbus Defense and Space, Euclid's payload module houses a reflecting telescope to capture and focus light from distant stars, as well as two instruments to record this light, the visible imager and the near-infrared spectrometer and photometer. Together, the telescope and the instruments will image billions of galaxies with unrivaled accuracy to help astronomers better understand how they have evolved and clustered into cosmic structures over the last 10 billion years. This will give us clues on the nature of enigmatic dark matter and the dark energy, the two main drivers of the expansion of the universe. Euclid's instruments were integrated onto the payload module at the end of 2020. During 2021, the complete module successfully passed intensive testing under simulated space conditions to check that the telescope and instruments work as expected. The service module is equally as important. It contains computers to control the instruments as well as all the essential parts that Euclid needs to function, including subsystems to control the orientation of the spacecraft, propel it through space, distribute power, communicate with Earth, and handle data transfer. To connect the two modules together, engineers used a crane to load the 800 kg payload module via six attachment points. The team took great care to make sure that these points matched up very well, as a poor contact could induce stresses that damage the structure or deform Euclid's 1.2-meter telescope mirror. In April, engineers will attach Euclid to its combined sun shield and solar panels. The sun shield will shade the payload module from the sun's intense radiation, helping the mission perform to the very best of its abilities. Once the sun shield is connected, the high gain antenna will be added and then Euclid will be complete. The finished spacecraft will measure about 4.7 meters tall and 3.7 meters wide. After that, Euclid will be tested as a complete system and prepared for launch from European spaceport in French Guiana. Euclid is a visible to near-infrared space telescope currently under development by the European Space Agency. The objective of the Euclid mission is to better understand dark energy and dark matter by accurately measuring the acceleration of the universe. Euclid is part of the Cosmic Vision campaign of European Space Agency science program. It was chosen in October 2011 out of several competing missions. The launch is currently scheduled to occur in 2023. As this was Space Daily News with Julia. Stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe.